Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. Problem 4-9. So in this problem, it is given that the assembly consists of two 10 mm diameter rod draws C83-400 copper rods A, B and C, D. So A, B and C, D are copper rod and have in diameter 10 mm, a 15 mm diameter 304 stainless steel rod E, F and a rigid bar G. So E, F is stainless steel rod and G is a rigid bar. If P is equal to 5 kN, determine the horizontal displacement of and F of rod E, F. So if P is given as 5 kN, so you have to determine the uh, horizontal displacement of and F. So let's start with the solution. Okay, so as we know for finding the displacement, we have formula that is P L over A E clear. So from that, we must know that for finding the displacement of F, we must know the displacement or, uh, or elongation in rod E F and A B or C D as well. So in this case, you will need the internal loading of E F force in E F rod E F A B or C D. So first we will find the internal loading. So internal loading in rod E F A B and C D. So for that I have to section them over there and then I have to section over there in order to get the internal loading. So first we will section it at this. This is our A part clear. So for A if I section it over here and draw the free wire diagram so it will lie this. So again this is rod EF here and this is the So this is the force 4P and P is given as 5 kN. So that is equal to 20 kN. So again this if you cut it from there so there will be a reaction force in order to counter it or to balance it. So this force will be equal to PEF because it is in rod EF so PEF will be again equal to 20 kilo Newton but in opposite direction. Now we will move toward finding the internal loads in rod AB and CD. So I have to uh, cut it and I will draw the free body diagram. The free body diagram will be like this. This is the plate rigid, sorry, this is a rigid draw bar G and, and this is the rod EF. At the end there the force is 4P which is equal to 20 kN and you can see that this is a force P and P applied at this end. And the direction is in this. So this is P is 5 kN. 5 kN and this is 5 kN. So the force here will be equal to PAB because it is in rod AB and the force in this will be equal to PCD. Clear? Now you can see 20 kN is acting on the right side while 10 kN is on the left side so we need 10 kN in order to balance this so 10 when divided by 2 will be equal to 5 so 5 kN will be PAB and 5 kN will be PCD now you can see the 5 5 5 5 20 kN on the left side while 20 kN on the right side so now we have internal loading in rod PEF which is 20 kN similarly internal loading in rod AB is 5 kN and in CD is uh, also 5 kN. Now we will move toward 
displacement so for displacement we have this formula which is equal to pl divided by ae we have p we have length of each rod e will be taken from the end of the book uh, and the table available is mechanical property of materials area is not available so diameters are also available so you will get the area so area of e ef area of ef will be equal to pi by 4 d square and the area of this uh, ef is 15 millimeter so again this 15 millimeter in term of meter will be equal to 0 0.015 square and that will be equal to 56.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into pi square meter. Similarly, A area of AB is equal to area of CD because both have same diameter and same material. Material is independent. So diameter is same. So the, the area will be same. And that will be equal to pi by 4. Area uh, Diameter is 10 millimeters. So it will be equal to 0 0.010 whole square. And that will be equal to 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 pi into square meter. Now we have all the areas available we, apply, we will apply the uh, displacement equation at for the end f. So delta f will be equal to sum of p into l divided by ae and that will be equal to if we first we will find the displacement for this rod uh, EF clear so P in that case is equal to 20 kilometer okay. so 20 into 10 to the power 3 which will be equal to Newton 20 into 10 to the power 3 Newton length of this rod is 450 millimeter so you have to convert it into meter which is equal to 0 .0 0 0.450 meter area area of this ef is 56 56.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 into pi what about e so e can be find out by using uh, the property material that is at the end of book show you so if you go at the end of table SI unit so you can see that this is brass its E is 101 giga Pascal and for stainless steel 304 it's 193 so you have to note down these two values clear and we will use it over here so E over here is equal to for top uh, for uh, stainless steel it was 193 giga pascal so 193 into 10 to the power 9 now displacement in these rods will be the same so we will take only one so this uh, force in any rod which is 5 kN so 5 into 10 to the power 3 length of these rods is 300 mm given over here Three hundred millimeter is equal to zero point three double zero meter divided by area of this rod is twenty five into ten to the power minus six into pi and g was one zero one into ten to the power nine for copper. So when you solve this by using calculator, you will get that this. Uh, displacement of point and point F will be 0 0.453 millimeter. The uh, answer will be in meter but when you have to convert it into 
millimeter. So the final answer or displacement of point F and F will be 0 0.45 B. So this positive sign, this positive sign shows that and F and F moves away from the fixed end. from fixed end. So this was answer of our question 4-9. I hope you have learned it and it's very easy. The next problem will be 4-10 which will be the same but in that problem delta F will be given and you have to find P and I'm going to solve it now. So, so Keep watching the channel and enjoy more and more problems. Thank you.